Hello ladies, this is the February 2012 Fudge Box. So this month apparently the theme is called Spotlight. So the inner paper is different to the usual paper, it's silver instead of pink. Well, I recognize that, that's a Beauty Blender sponge, very nice. I do enjoy using sponges to put on foundation, especially cream foundation or liquid foundation. If you use these and dab it on, it actually gives you quite a flawless finish, especially if it's a good foundation. And this item, and this is called Mineralogy, and it says it's the ultimate cream concealer. I actually only have one other concealer, but um, I'm not that happy with it, so I almost never use it. So uh, this is quite a nice sample for me because I would be interested in finding a bit of a better concealer. Here's a little card. It says Digital Spotlight Green River Ordinance. And it says um, that you can download favorite tracks for free at Birchbox. And so I'm most interested in what is in here. This is called Spicy Maya and it's dark chocolate with chili, cayenne pepper and cinnamon. And it says around your senses. Wow. Spicy chocolate can be good. And this is from Joy and this is a luminizing moisture tint. It's in the color pearl. So I'm just going to have a quick look to see what it is. But I put some on my hand and it looks like a tinted moisturizer you can see over here. Gives you a pearly glow. Oh, I'm very excited about this. These are designer eyeliners. They are the peel off ones. I've never used these before. I've definitely looked at them, considered purchasing them, but I've never got around to doing it. Uh, I do like those designs. Very, very nice. So they say you can peel and apply it in seconds. Yes, I'm very, very interested in this. Well, these are my five samples this month. I got chocolate, a beauty blender sponge, which is really, really nice, some tinted moisturizer, some concealer, and my favorite thing in this birch box, at this time anyway, uh, the designer eyeliners. And even more exciting, they last up to 16 hours. This is the kind of product that I want to do a blog post on after I've used them. So all of these items will be on my blog, and just to let you know, I have done a, uh, the first six months of Birchbox, I did a review on those on my blog from last year. If you're still on the fence about Birchbox, you can check that out, and I've broken everything down by item, and rated whether I would purchase it or not, whether it's worth my time. I think you'll find that I did find it was worth my time, although that was the first six months of last year. Um, after that, things kind of changed with Birchbox, so if you're interested, you can check that out and see if it's worth it for you. Until next time.